Hello YouTube. Alright. I've been missing my uh, regulated lab power supply for the last couple of weeks. Um, and it's been having some issues and I haven't known what's wrong with it. But, uh, someone picked up on one of my videos that uh, they can see that contact was burnt. Sorry, I couldn't go for it. Come on in close. There you go. Burnt contact in the corner of this. Uh, connector so we're going to clean them two up and uh, poke it all back together and see if it, see if it works they could well be enough to uh, stop it unfortunately um, yeah so we just need something skinny enough to get in there and clean that up maybe a bit of sandpaper for that one right I'll grab some stuff all right then as we can see so this connector is all burnt out. The plastic's all stuffed. So what we might do is we might get the side cutters and cut him out of there. And got a bit soldering iron plugged in ready to go. Alrighty, solder nines on. So what we'll do is we'll munch that pin out of there and uh, plug the rest of the plug in like normal and then just solder that one pin solo. So as we get a good contact again. These all cooked and mutilated unfortunately. Cut him off. Give us enough to connect to the pin. I know, so we'll just get rid of all that excess material that'll be in our way. Don't need that part of the plug anymore. Good thing is the little retentive clip on the edge of the plug there is still in good condition. And it should do its job. Next thing we'll do is munch some of this out of the way. Sorry, out of the way, can't see anything. Okay, now we can get to the pin a bit better. Solder and iron's ready to go. Look at this uh, sharp spade bit here. Let me give this pin a bit of a scratch. I might even bend him out. He's out facing where it's going to get soldered. Okay, clip our plug back in like it was, as per normal.
this wire quick tin tap tin up tin tap tin whatever you want to call it stick some solder on there to get it ready like so see if we can get some on the pin Bring the two together. Firm connection there. Let's uh, put this back together where it was. Smell the screw out of it. Everyone's got their fingers crossed this will work. So I've missed this thing quite a bit the last week or so. A couple of months actually. I've been stuffed up for months. Alright. That's all clear of failing on anything. We do AC plug. One part of the puzzle winds up and down in voltage now. Happens when the load is applied. What do we want to run? Um, nice and prepared for this one. Something nice and easy. 10 watt LED globe, LED work light. Alright, this won't start working until 9 ish. Oh no, down low, look at that. 8 volts. Puts our power on all voltages. That was all it was. There you go, guys. Lab power supply fixed. Whoever pointed out that that was burnt, I'm gonna go find you in the uh, uh, other video and uh, shout you out because thank you, thank you heaps. This is great. So cheap quality power supply, uh, just an eBay one. I think I paid 67 bucks for it, something stupid like that. Ridiculously cheap. It's um, like I say, it had a failure. And uh, all it was was a cooked, cooked terminal. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Back to life. Now that little solder job up in there. I should have slipped a bit of heat sink over it, heat, heat shrink tubing over it, but that doesn't actually move. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one.